The next tip we have for being a better Catholic, a better Christian, following Christ better, is to offer things up to Jesus out of love. I mean, offer every moment of your day out of love. If you're working, before you start working, offer it up to God out of love. Say, God, I offer you this day. I offer you my work. You know, the good and the bad, I offer it up to you out of love. You know, whether you're just at home watching kids or whether you're doing chores, whatever we're doing, we can offer little, make little acts of sacrifice, make little acts of love to Jesus and give him our day. That way we're not just like, oh, I said my prayers, I'm good for the day. No, we're making our day about God. We're revolving our whole life around Jesus. We're giving him every part of our day and we're asking and inviting him in to our lives and asking him to be here with us, whether we're out on a date or whether we are, you know, out just playing mini golf or just whatever it is. Just think of Jesus for 10, 20, 30 seconds and invite him into that act. And especially when you're going through tough times, when things are difficult and you're struggling, you're suffering, you really don't want to do a particular chore. Uh, I know kids get really angry when their parents ask them to do stuff that they don't want to do, but you know, what does the parent say? Offer it up. Why? Offer it up. Make an offering to Jesus. If you don't want to do something, if you're suffering, if you're, maybe you're sick in bed, maybe you have the flu, maybe you have COVID, maybe you're struggling with something, but offer it up to God. Offer it to him as a gift saying, Jesus, you suffered out of love for me. I'm going to offer this suffering up out of love for you. I don't want to do these dishes. That's the last thing I want to do, but I'm going to make it a sacrifice of love out of love for you. And try to do it joyfully. Try to do it in a spirit of thanksgiving and try to do it in a spirit of love, giving to him as he gave to you. Now, you might not feel like doing the dishes, but he didn't feel like dying on the cross, but he chose to out of love for you. We can offer up our deepest sufferings. If you're maybe even paralyzed, God forbid, in a, in a wheelchair, every moment you can be offering this up as a, as an, a love sacrifice and offering to God who offered his entire life up for you. And the more we offer these things up to God, the more he is going to bless us in return, the closer we're going to come. And this is one of the secrets of the saints and how they came close to God and stayed close to God even when everything was blowing up around them, even when there were waves and, and dark nights, you know, in their life, they still had peace deep in their soul because they never lost that deep connection with Jesus, who is peace itself. In fact, the Bible says he's the Prince of Peace. And it doesn't matter who we are, where we're at, we can have that peace when we are close to Jesus and we have that deep relationship with him. If these videos bless you, please consider blessing us in return. We would really appreciate it. We want to thank all of our new patrons that we've seen over the last week. Thank you so much for your one-time donations and your monthly donations. We very, very much appreciate it. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of our Catholic Truth family. Please pray for us. We're always praying for you. May God bless you.